Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a C++ project on the topic Gym Management System. So let's see the requirements of this code. First, you require an IDE for running and compiling the source code. Second, you require a text editor. You may use any text editor as per your choice, but the recommended ones are code blocks or VS code. Thirdly, you require an operating system. You may use any operating system, but the recommended ones are Windows 10 or any other latest version. Now, let's see the code part. So here we are in the code. First, I'll explain you the code, then we'll execute and show it to you. So basically, I've included all the header files here. Then we have a class named administration where there are certain attributes that is string people. Then under the public access specifier, we have a function named x where you have to enter the admin code. If you are logging as the admin, if you are doing the login as the admin, uh, your uh, people's or the admin codes will be admin A1, A2, or A3. That will show login successful or else the invalid credentials entered and user not on the login will be failed. The password will be gym admin123. If that will be correct, then you will be welcomed or else your entered password will be incorrect. Then there will be function 1 where a gym trainer will be allotted to you and if there is no trainer allotted to you, it will show that sorry, there is no trainer allotted to you. In function 2, the same thing is done. You can choose any other class. Class will be gold or silver. Basically, when you join a gym, there are certain priority level depending on the payment that you do, right? And if the first selected trainer is not available, it shows the trainer is not available. Then in the candidate function, we have the time slots for morning 6 to 7, for morning 7 to 8. Here we have to give spaces um, for morning 7 to 8, for morning 8 to 9. These are the time slots for evening, for 5 to 6, and for 6 to 7. Let me save it, okay. These are the time slots. Then this will be a creating the candidate memorandum. So this is the enter your candidate number, the name of the candidate, and enter the contact number. Then you can select either the gold class or silver class depending on your choice. And the monthly fee will be accordingly. Then in the show me Mem, uh, mem function, the candidate code, name, category, fee, contact and timings are displayed. Then in the save candidate, uh, the candidate's information is going to gonna be saved or added. There will be a file named new data 2dat So whatever transactions you're going to make that needs to be stored in this file. Then in the records fun, uh, in the show all, again, uh, the new data 2.data file. Here all the records are stored. In the display record, all the records which are being stored or you entered it, that's, that will be displayed. The edit candidate function, the candidate number needs to be entered and the candidate data will be modified. Delete candidate function is used to delete the particular candidate information. If you want to like uh, enter the candidate, means if you want to delete a candidate, the backup needs to be stored, right? So that's why we store a backup in the temp 2dat file. And because if any time we need a backup or if we need to retrieve some data, we can go back. Then this is the main page. These are the options that are available. Accordingly, you can select the switch case and you can go. Then these are the fitness tips. If you want any tips, then the tips.txt file, all the fitness tips will be displayed. Here, um, the functionality is like you want to join gym, you want to quit gym or you want to edit your profile. Depending on that, you can enter your choice. And this is the main function whether you are in the user mode or in the admin mode. So I hope you understood this code. Let me look at this part first. Yeah, admin and this is gym admin123. Now let's run the code. We ran the code. Uh, will be admin. Admin code is admin. I said it to you now, admin A1. Ask code was gym123, I guess. Give me one sec. Let us see. Uh, it's what? Yeah, gym admin123. The password. Gym admin123. Cool. So, what we'll do? We'll display all the records. So, this the records I already stored. These are the records. Cool. Now, what I'll do? I'll be creating a candidate. Candidate number is 12. Name of the candidate, it says sim. 
contact number is some random my gold i'll be gold class your monthly pay will be 2500 and the gym trainer is allotted so i will be taking the 7 to 8 so now let's display all the records again see i created this right now cool now what we'll do we'll edit the candidate number what i did 12 right yes so uh, the candidate number is 1 name of the candidate is sp contact number is 123 silver class and uh, i will be now let's go back to the previous menu go back to the main menu so i hope you understood the working of this code for more interesting project ideas stay tuned to our channel thank you and have a great day